Hi everyone, um, this is MSM. Welcome to my channel for people who are new here. Um, right, so I've got myself a much better camera than my telephone, <laughs> can't you see? Um, hopefully it makes the videos more interesting, uh, well, at least more watchable. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about lumbar puncture um, because um, if you end up having a nerve disease like I have, um, you are likely to get this sort of exam. Um, I, sorry, I apologize. I've got some people doing some renovation work next door and they are very loud. Um, so, you know, if it happens, then, you know, just I'll try and edit this thing out. But since I'm quite new at video editing, I can't guarantee that we won't have some parasitic noise. Right, I can hear some drilling right now. But, okay, basically what it is is that um, in order to work out whether you might have multiple sclerosis or something else, um, a doctor will um, take out, they will sample some of the brain that goes from your brain and, well, the liquid that goes from your brain to your spine and travels back and forth between, you know, these two very important organs in your body. And they will look at... Uh, if you have white blood cells in there and inflammation and all sorts of things, they will put all these things in petri dishes and over the course of several weeks they will know um, whether or not you have a certain bacteria or certain viruses, I guess. Um, mine, well, what happens is that in the next few hours after this particular exam, uh, they can work out whether or not you have meningitis, which obviously was not my case but they will do that for other things and um, over the course of the few weeks after that they work out other things and things that I, I can't tell you about exactly because I don't know but um, uh, well what I have to tell you is that um, you might have to get this and it's really not very pleasant um, what it is is that basically they have to um, push this really long needle to in order to get the brain liquid out of your spine and they have to work out you can actually feel uh, the doctor kind of working out whether to insert it they put a patch um, before they actually numb your area the patch to actually numb their area prior to the numbing which is odd and in theory it shouldn't hurt but it kind of does and um, also what happens is that if it was just the pain of the lumbar puncture, it would be okay, but it's also um, a number of effects after. And um, my main trouble, which is very common, and what you might get is these horrendous spinal headaches that you get. Um, what happens when they do the puncture is that they uh, bore a hole in your spine, and this hole actually breaches um, a barrier which... Um, Basically, your your head has to be horizontal, um, horizontally aligned with your spine uh, in the next few hours after the procedure. And um, very often it happens in the next few days after the procedure. And you will get these headaches that are very violent and very sudden, which happen as soon as you get up or sit up. And you basically have to lie horizontally. And even without a pillow, or, um, it, they're very unpleasant. You don't know how long they can can, can last for. And um, in my case, I had the procedure done last week for the second time. And uh, this time, I've only just got better. And uh, it really wasn't nice. Um, I know that these days they have uh, something called blood patch, which... Um, consists in taking some of your blood and putting it back in after they breach the spine and well they don't actually break your spine they just put a hole in it but um, this is the actual thing that's causing the pains later on so I think you know in the future um, it would be really great if they, they did that automatically when they do this sort of things because really an examination should not should not cause pain and um, that is uh, really not the most pleasant of experiences um, hopefully they can find what I have um, with this thing right um, I hope I've been 
uh, comprehensive and inclusive in my information giving to you. But um, if you have some questions, just don't hesitate in the comments or anything like that. Um, if you're going to go through that, and I'll try and answer it. Obviously, I don't know what it, all there is to know about lumbar punctures, but um, this is my second one now, so. Yeah, I am starting to know a thing or two about it. So, yeah, um, I'll be talking about um, solumedural later on, possibly today, maybe later on uh, in the week. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.